Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Folks, thanks for coming on by today. Just in our new game called Adam. Here we go. Here our world turned to ashes. The atomic flame unleashed by the leaders of the East and West, like a genie from his bottle, circled the globe in a mere minutes and devoured it to the bone. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the Dark Ages, back into the primeval state with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. 2005. Nineteen years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. However, amidst this ruins, new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted, radioactive derelict of the old world, new absent states, both brave and wild, emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of Apocalypse. And here we are, folks. So this game, directly by quoted by the uh, developers, was inspired by... Fallout and Wasteland, Deuce Ex, Baldur's Gate, and many of the early years of the CRPG. Turn the audio down. So that's where this game is coming from. So you'll probably notice I've, I've watched it as it's developed. And uh, there's a lot of similarities to Fallout 1 and 2. You see a lot of different things that are close to the uh, turn-based combat, character development, even some skills that a little bit different name, but probably accomplish the same kind of task. Other than that, I've been really excited, waiting for it to come out of beta. I don't like playing games in a beta because uh, it makes when I get to play it in full release, it feels like I'm, I don't have that you know new car smell going on. It uh, makes the game less enjoyable for me, so I like to always... You're in beta, good to go. I'm glad to see people are giving great feedback and everything. And this developer really, really shined about that. The developers is the Adam team. Uh, they have a Twitch page and everything. I hope people go out. If you like this stream, or if you're watching it over on YouTube, you can, and you like it there, I hope you go out, purchase it for yourself if you like it. Uh, other than that, I purchased it for myself, and I haven't seen the game, so we're going to see if I, I like it together. With that being said, other than that, let's make sure all my stuff's set up properly. Let's come out of this game. Different than what I've experienced before. So, here we go. All right, so new game. We're just going to start fresh. It's totally blind. I haven't seen but a few things about the gameplay. So here we go. I don't even know how to make a character in this. But like I said, if it's Fallout, Esk, Baldur's Gate, Wasteland, you know, got your main stats, you got your skills and everything here. So, and I guess let's see what happens. So we got some stats here with some obvious points right off the bat. I wonder if this is. Made right here. If I go like so, if I go to new game, I have to pick a character. Okay, here we go. Distinctions. Okay, so it doesn't matter which character you pick, looks like these are the ones that you got to do. You can rename them and everything. Even has a little biography. Okay, Vetlana. I believe that it's taking place in Russia. Yeah, so let's got here. Okay. 
Okay, Oleg, Gitor, Theresa, Leo, Janice, yeah, Ivan, Ursula. <laughs> I like Ursula's pick, though. Maria. Alexandra. Okay, cool. So, a bunch of different picks here you could choose for your character. I think we'll go with Alfred. As a cadet of a secret organization, Adam, you went through a standard training program and received an education that should technically ensure your survival in the harsh outside world. Change Alfred's name to Tilnak. Woohoo! Okay, so now I get. So I have five character points and 20 skill points. Apparently, you already start off with a high martial arts skills. We use kicks and punches in combat. All right. Got five character points. I like to. Let's take a look at what we've got over here. So we have a black belt. You're a martial arts enthusiast from early childhood, but you never liked shooting. Okay. Do they have like a big gun thing? Farms, throwing weapons, craft barter, gambling, survival, first aid, stealth, lock picking, pickpocket. Technology and tinkering. Okay, kind of the standard for a postal apocalyptic. Rifles and shotguns. The skills are responsible for larger firearms, rifles and shotguns. So, this is probably what we're going to go for right here. So, we're going to go for speechcraft and pickpocketing. So, what do we got over here that'll help that? Cannibal. Ooh, sex appeal. You're a drop dead, crazy gorgeous to the opposite sex, but your own sex tends to become jealous. Okay, already starting to see some fami uh, some familiarity between Fallout 1 and 2. Hey, Talon Luck. Oh, thank you, man. Hey, Imagine. Yeah, you, this is the new game. Thanks for coming on by, gentlemen. Sorry, I got a little involved here and I didn't uh, get to see you guys' message. But yeah, I'm really excited about this game too, Talon. And I want to see what it's, uh, how, how well they did. I mean, the... oh, thanks, Talon Luck. Thanks for following, man. Uh, I want to see what the difference, I mean, all the, it already has over 200 and some reviews on Steam. And they're all positive. And I didn't read a damn one because I don't want to ruin my experience with this. So, yeah. Yeah, it is totally Fallout 1 and 2. So this is like an indie version of Fallout? Sure is, Imagine. That's exactly the original Fallout 1 and 2. This is definitely an indie version of that. So right now, like, like I said, I want to, it'll be a little slow in the beginning because we're trying to figure everything out. Uh, take a look and see what all these skills and everything transition to. Got everything. So they don't have like heavy weapons. So I'm taking that's going to be rifles and shotguns. I love shotguns. Uh, always love pickpocketing. Or lock, well, not pickpocketing, lock picking, speech craft. Because I want to see if they have kind of like the same options they did in Fallout 1 and 2. Which you don't see in games anymore. Which is, you could fight your way through it, you could sneak your way through it, or you could talk your way through it. I mean, you could play Fallout 1 and 2 literally by never, by running away from every fight and talking your way through the entire damn game. I mean, there's no game that does that anymore. Uh, you know, you could uh, sneak. You know, uh, Dusex 1 kind of had a had a good handle on that. You could sneak through a lot of the maps and stuff. But at the end of the day, you had to wind up shooting somebody, even if it was with a train gun. So other than that, we're going to try to do what we're going to do. So we already... Okay, so let's see what we could do. So we're level one. We got 31 health. It symbolized the amount of damage we receive from death. Depends on strength and endurance. So we got dodge, action points. So let's see if... go. Let's Let's check out our stats. Strength, maximum care weight, melee and unarmed damage, as well as substance for huge skills are all dependent on strength. Endurance, the maximum health total resistance, negative effects, as well as survival skill, all depend on endurance. Dexterity, the ability to dodge blows, combat speed, accuracy and melee combat, as well as lock picking thief skills, all depend on dexterity. So it looks like we're going to be probably up in dexterity a little bit. Okay, that directly action points. The amount of actions you make during your battle depends on your dex. Okay, so intellect, amount of skill points you get each level and opens the dialogue options. So, probably going to do that. Attention, uh, governs accuracy, range combat, and helps you notice easy to miss details and dialogue in your surroundings. Okay, so we're not going to have very much personality, but we'll have some decent uh, intellect, dexterity, get that above average action points. So, skill points per level, 21, that's good. 
Rad resistance 15, sequence 12. The order in which your turn comes up in battle depends on dexterity and attention. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Generation. So, how quickly your health regenerates. So now the next question is, can we go in negative? Affects almost any action in a small amount. So, stand. Oh, okay. So, look at it. It tells you what you are. I'm a lightning rod. Cursed. <laughs> Unlucky stand-up comedian, same as everyone. So apparently a stand-up comedian has worse luck than everybody else, so that's good. <laughs> so attentive, intellectual, dexterous, medium, so medium complexion, and mediocre strength. So I'm not worried about my personality. It affects the speech. Oh, well, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to care about that. So... Can we take uh, endurance, maximum care weight, melee, and unarmed damage as well as such huge skills are all dependent on strength. So medium complexion. I wonder if I could do that. That would give me another point in personality and another point in intention and dexterity. So because every game usually has what they call a dump stat, it's really hard to develop around that. And it's a stat that, you know, if you don't play this way, you really don't need it. And since we're not going to be doing much meleeing, uh, we're going to find out, I guess, how it is. I'm not too worried about hit points. If we get armor and stuff. I guess it'll, we're going to find out real quick, though, if I'm making some smart decisions out here. We want skill points so I can make sure my lock picking is up there. How's my speech? Okay, speech is... Let's start off with 45. Okay, rifles and shotguns is... The skill is responsible for large firearms, rifles, and shotguns. So uh, we may have to, I'm going to have to pull out another point out of this and put it into strength, just because in case there's weapons that are gated by that. But let's take a look over here. So martial arts enthusiast, cannibal. I don't know why, but you show a cannibalistic creepy. You can harvest meat. Killed humans. Sex appeal. We already know that. Child projects. You're pretty good, but it's hard for you to learn something new. Plus one intellect, personality, and attention. Minus 15. Experience. Holy, that's big. But, you know, from what I've seen, your stats are pretty huge. Anabolic man, you use Kim's to quicken muscle growth, and it shows. Not going to worry about that. It's plus, two. oh my god. And toxic resistance, plus 20 kids. All right. Technophobe. Never like uh, crafting, relying on tech. A simple shovel is better than any tractor. Plus one strength. Okay. So they're really hitting it here with the their distinctions or talents or perks. You're the best at talking publicly. And you always look for a peaceful solution. However, your fighting skills are poor. Three personality. Big uh, aesthetic. Aesthetic. Need little for survival. Thus, you don't carry much. Twice the time to get hungry. Plus ten in survival. Okay. Slick dealer, money rules the world, and you are ready to bargain with anyone just to make a profit. Uh, that doesn't look like I want it. Savage hunter, you love to lose yourself in the hunt. However, spending most of your time hunting game and traveling light, you never got to have it. Bathe or shave regularly. That's probably not going to work out. Morphine doctor, you're a drug addicted intellectual. Okay. Hobby, I don't like doing drug builds either. You always love tinkering, sadly, but... Doing so, eh, come on, buddy. Poorly lit rooms didn't help your eyesight. You start off with a basic crafting recipe. Minus one attention, minus one personality, tinkering technology, glutton. You need to eat more, but your huge stomach offers natural protection. Protection. Okay, so hunger. So you got to worry about probably hunger and thirst in this. A survival in it, too. Circus education. Old Carney once taught you his craft. So sneak, lock picking. I just want to carry. Ooh. Sequence. That's like horrible. First sniper, an old gypsy Christy for shooting her pet cat, uh, crow. Attention plus two. Minus two luck. Minus seven sequence. Oh my god. Lone wolf. You are much more comfortable with being alone. After all, having side take nothing but a burden. One alone plus two attention. And with a follower. Okay. So you get followers. I mean, that's a good indication of what's going on in this game. You can get followers. So we're going to get those because they add. Come on, Lukey. Come on over. This is Lukey. If you're new to the stream, sometimes likes to interrupt the stream. 
give me a kiss, hang out. You know, so shooting gallery fan. All your spare time was spent inside a shooting gallery where you tried out all sorts of weapons. This, however, made you forget all about physical training. Damn, okay. So, minus 15. Ah, uh, uh, that might be good. Lucky one. You were always lucky enough to breeze through life without even trying, however, resulting in a lack of skills. Apart from speech craft. So, plus three luck, plus two personality. And I only lose minus one endurance. Probably going to get that because it gives me speech craft. So we're going to go speech craft. And bam. Leader. You're always inspire people to become your follower. However, you need so much attention all the time for every follower you get. Plus seven speech craft. Plus five first aid. Plus five water. Minus one attention. Minus one dexterity. Followers gain plus one dexterity. And okay. You're unlucky most of the time. But when luck finally does smile your way you win big time critical damage up 20 percent. okay so i'm gonna take uh we got lucky one because that's five stat points for just one and minus 10 to all my skills and with high intelligence you know what i'm talking about there so and i can't uh what else would be slick dealer money rules the world and you're ready to bargain at any point ah <sighs> i don't want that I'm thinking we may only have one. If anything, it would be shooting uh, gallery. Because I'm not going to be doing unarmed. Yeah, picked up. So that would put our endurance right here. But that would give us a bunch of skill points. Not worried about unarmed. And I picked up a whole bunch of other points in other locations. So I can kind of bump that up a little bit. Maybe. Morphine Doc is good, too, if you don't use chem. So, Morphine Doc, you're a drug-addicted intellectual. That is true. If I'm not going to use chems, that would actually be better. Because I think stats are going to be the harder to come by. So, it would be either that or you know, this one right here. Child Prodigy. Minus 50 experience gained. So, Morphine Doc or that. Thanks, Talon Luck, for pointing that out. So we got one more stat point. I don't think we're going to need it. I'm going to, I don't like going to 10 in these games because you always wind up finding something that gives you one point somewhere. So where do we want to put our last point? So if we're going to be doing heavy guns, you're getting 23 points a level. Hmm. Attention or dexterity. Close combat helps you notice some details in dialogue. So it's, we're going to be working on dialogue. Lock picking and thief skills. I'm torn between decks. Let's go with dexterity. This will up our sequence either way. This is going to give us more action points, better dodge. So we'll go with dexterity. Woo! There we go. Full beard. I love the hairdo. So let's get started. Oh, we got one more point left. So speechcraft, well, I'm going to drop down a little bit. Drop down to 58. Heavy weapons, if I can. So first aid is really good. Lock picking. All right, so here we go. Travel, okay, so here we go. Difficulty, traveler. An average, diff good old sweater with army. Oh, clothing kits, action hero. We start off with easy. Mode for new players, you get more experience points, you gain a bigger chance of avoiding random encounters. Okay. Normal and average difficulty, they'll recommend it for most players. Not too easy, not too hard. Expert, a mode for experienced players, saving only outside of battle. Get less EXP, harder to avoid random encounters. Survival, a mode for those who'd like to tickle their nerves. Permadeath, progress is saved only by exiting to the main menu. Since I have no idea what this game has in store for me, let's go with Expert first. If I knew uh, This would sound more like something if you know what you got coming your way. Otherwise, I might wind up having to restart the whole thing over again. So let's go with Traveler. Good old sweater with reindeer decorations and thick clothes and pants. Hey, it's Christmas. We're starting off with Traveler. We're going to go with Expert. Woohoo! Let's see where we're going.
Atom, a branch of the Soviet army created long before the war, caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions, led by General Morozov, lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemonye, codenamed Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city. So apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. The wastes are a dangerous place. Good luck, cadet. And let there be atom. Alrighty, so I don't speak Russian. I have a hard time with English itself. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Alrighty, so can I move? Oh nope, cut some. Wait a second, what's that rustling sound? Ooh, that's pretty cool. So you can like barter just like right off the bat. Can I can I hit barter? Barter? Nope. For uneven shadows that are dancing around your campfire emerges a well built man in his thirties dressed in a musky khaki uniform. Continue. Well well well, what do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. Man stops before you and rubs his hands as if to warm himself or assure you a formidable brass knuckle on his left hand. Probably uh, both at the same time. You look like a tourist, man. Nice tent, clothes in good condition, without holes or tears, and so much other stuff. The man whistles, sizing up your equipment. Oh, that son of a bitch, he's gonna take my frickin' rifle. Must be hard to carry such a weight on your shoulders. Oh, you... The stranger's face breaks into an ominous smile. I'm gonna find you later and kill you, just so you know. I mean, me and my pals could help you. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very manageable price. What do you say? You finally noticed four human figures hidden in the dark of the night, and you still had some doubts about what is transpiring. Now it's becoming painfully clear. You're about to get robbed. I mean, those guys are not hiding, but hey, okay, so let's see. You, choose the, you chose the wrong person, man. I was trained to deal with the hostile locals. Speechcraft, listen. I agree that sharing is caring, but all I have is the bare minimum for survival. Be human being and leave me alone. Strength, easy there, man. Maybe you missed it in the dark, in the dark but you're looking for trouble with someone who won't be stopped by the brass knuckle of yours. Ah, oh, what the hell? Go on, Robbie, you bunch of low lives. <laughs> Let's give our speech craft a try. <laughs> That's a wonderful line. The man smiles and winks at you. Success. Don't sweat it, rookie. We won't hurt you. Just want to bar uh, browse through the stuff for a second. Who knows? Maybe we won't take everything. You can lie down and rest while we're at it. What do you mean? Oh! Take the loot, man. We have a good catch tonight. That son of a bitch. See that hatchet over there? Oh, he even took my damn hatchet! What a dick! You took 10 hit points of damage. The battle ends. Your inventory is updated. Alright. So, take a quick look at settings. Gameplay. Okay. Oh, okay. So max camera distance. Do that. Audio general. Do we have what does what? No hotkeys or anything like that. So that's something. Okay. Okay, now we want to save. Slop. Okay, whoops. I wanted to name that. Just got robbed. 
Okay, so you gotta click. So, farther away. You can't just hold it down. You can rotate the map by holding down the right key really fast. I don't know if we can settings on that. Language E. Graphical resolution. Play semantics. Effects. Ambient. Audio. Okay. Okay, so. Can't. Those bare, bare amount of settings. Cool. Okay, so we know that's a canteen that we could pick up. If I hold down Alt. Okay, so it's a green color. If you hold down Alt, that's going to make things really hard to find. Okay, control, left control is punch. How about shift? Okay, it's for character. Oh, that's just that. All right, character screen. Status, map, rest. Okay, so you can rest. It really does look like a more cleaner fallout in some ways. So I'm hungry. Okay, so if I hold down... Okay, so if it's a big item, it's pretty easy. You can interact with this. What do I got? Empty canteen. It's a Soviet Army canteen. You can get some water into it. All right. My guess... Oh, that's so fast. What if I come over here? So... Take all. Oh. So, alrighty. Okay, you can use Wasad to move the camera. Can't just hold down left click, you gotta click locales. So, if you come over here and I hold down Alt, like there's anything. So, hit M is a map. Okay. A map is like piss poor. That's cool. It could be that we need to get a device to help us update the map right now because if you see on the map here, you just have this. Find the okay, so status. Find the whereabouts of General Morozov expeditions. I'm not even going to butcher uh, Russian names. In a, a big city, there is an Adam agent called Fidel. He works as a friend, bartender close to the city walls. and need to find him. The password is betrayal. It's the pinnacle of wisdom. Traitor, be true. Okay. Okay, so you can tilt up and down. All right. Okay, so this is just the beginning map. So maybe that's how... Oh. Cinematics. I still want to find that guy and bury that hatchet in his head. Feel my hatchet. Yeah, that's right. I am planning to murder a whole group of guys. So your game was auto-saved. Awesome. So, okay, now if we go to map now. Okay. So the very first starting area map doesn't really update. But got a scale here. Okay, so it even tells you the scale. Location. Click on it. Location waste. Wait a minute. This, oh, scale to 1,000. 